greetings to everyone at Feel3D, um, all the backers from Kickstarter and anyone interested in MeshUp and specifically the automatic registration and stitching feature. This is the first uh, Q&A session, so let's see if I can answer some questions related to the upcoming feature in MeshUp. We've got a preview version of MeshUp out now. Um, it's locked to a certain set of features and a certain set of models, but it gives people an idea of where we're going. Um, the beta is set for release before the 3D print show in New York, which is February 13th, but we should have it out before then. Development is on schedule. We have an initial system in place for testing, and we're really pleased with the results we're seeing so far. We'll start posting some pictures soon. Well, we're aiming for the process to be, of course, as automatic as possible. It might be that we add the ability for selecting key features on scans to provide a kind of early registration process before stitching, um, but no matter what, the user will never have to handle line the scan. Yes, you will need to crop your scans in Feel 3D before bringing them into MeshUp, but both Euphormia and Feel 3D are interested in a tighter integration in the near future. Well, there are a couple of answers to this question. The most obvious is, yes, we certainly want the stitching process to be as seamless as possible, but it's going to greatly depend on the few factors, the quality of the scan, uh, the cropping of the scans, and then the overlap uh, between the scans. So right now our tests are revealing that you're going to want to have somewhere between a 40 and 60 percent overlap. Now the second answer to that is seamless in terms of it being watertight, absolutely. Um, it's Euphormia, it's our motto with our, all of our software, so everything that's produced in Euphormia's technology, including MeshUp, is always watertight. It's always ready for 3D printing. File size is, of course, I can't give an exact size, um, but what I can say is the data that comes in to mesh out for stitching, what we output will, of course, only be smaller because wherever there's an overlap, we'll combine that, so the resulting mesh will be smaller. MeshUp is not intended to be an industrial tool, of course. Um, the whole idea behind MeshUp is it's an easy-to-use tool to bring in multiple meshes, make something new, and export it for 3D printing. Um, so Feel 3D and MeshUp are really good at organic objects. We're really good at our artistic objects, like scanning a face, putting it on an object, um, and, and exporting that out for 3D printing. So we're really good at that. Um, you know, having said that, you can certainly take an object that, that you make in MeshUp and export it and bring it back into a CAD CAM software.